All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back with another Reddit story, this time from the Am I the A-hole subreddit. And this one is titled, Am I the A-hole for telling my boyfriend I am uncomfortable with him referring to my house as our house? My boyfriend, 43M, and I, 42F, have been together just under two years. I have two children, both elementary age. I share custody with their father. Until recently, I was renting an apartment after I split with my ex-husband. I just bought a house, and I am so happy to be creating a new comfortable home for my children. Getting this home feels like a major accomplishment for me, and I am proud that I can provide a better home for my kids now than during my marriage. I care about my boyfriend deeply, but I am not in a place where I want to live together with a partner yet. We have both been in stressful long-term marriages and don't plan on marrying. We have discussed this many times, he wants us to live together in the future. I told him I want that eventually, but I can't give him a time frame from when I may be ready for that. He gets along with my kids pretty well. I am reluctant to have him in a stepdad role for various reasons, mental health issues and alcohol abuse, which he says he is actively addressing. He has a living situation that is less than ideal and has been leaving things in my house every time he stays over. It started with some clothes, now it's a keyboard and a guitar and a spare TV. I feel like this is a method of moving in without officially moving in. He has started using the term our a lot. Our house, our bed, our kids. I started a discussion about how it makes me uncomfortable that he behaves basically like we live together. When my kids are at their dad's, he's always over and I have to basically ask him if I can have nights home alone sometimes. I require regular recharge time alone for self-care and don't get that opportunity often. He reacted pretty angrily because he said the terminology ours doesn't matter because we're both two adults in a loving relationship he sees things as ours because he cares and helps out. I see it as him not respecting my boundaries. Am I being selfish and immature because I'm not quite ready to share? Am I overreacting to his use of the word ours? My opinion is that I don't believe that you are the a-hole for this. The reason I don't think you're the a-hole is simply because you have had this discussion with him previously and have made your feelings known. You told him that you are not quite ready for a relationship in which your partner moves in your house. I can understand why you would feel the way you feel about this situation also. Buying a house is a big accomplishment and you did that on your own. He had nothing to do with it. So I can understand why you feel like him referring to the house as ours makes you feel some kind of way now what i will say is i don't think that he means anything nefarious by it simply because he doesn't just refer to the house as ours he also refers to the kids as ours and so i think that's just him trying to be there for you kind of like he said instead of actually trying to move in him leaving some stuff here and there in your house is normal in a relationship partners often will leave articles of clothing or things at their partner's house that's normal so i don't think again that he means anything nefarious nefarious by leaving a couple things here and there in your house what i will say is though that i don't believe you should have gotten in a relationship with this man neither of you seem to be ready to be in a relationship him because he has his mental health issues and his alcohol abuse which he needs to address and you because it sounds like you have some deep-seated issues from your previous marriage that you have yet to let go of and unpack so in my opinion i believe that neither of you should be in a relationship but that ship has sailed so the next best thing is for both of you to actually go to therapy separately and together as a couple to see where you guys can resolve some of the issues that you're having in a relationship now as for your me time i totally get it because i'm the same way sometimes i want to be alone and maybe he's a bit of a clinger and sometimes you have to ask just to be able to have nights alone because you don't get them often because you always have the kids so I understand that. But again, I think that comes down to the deep-seated issues that you have as a person as to why it bothers you that he wants to spend time with you. You should be happy that he wants to spend this time with you because it clearly shows that he cares. But again, I do understand where you're coming from on why it bothers you him calling the house ours because it is not his. That is your accomplishment. And obviously, you guys aren't ever going to be married according to your post. So the house will never be his. I will end this by saying that no, I do not think that you're the a-hole, but I do think that you should seek out some professional help as well as him because it seems like both of you have issues that you need to resolve before you can actually start being in a good relationship. It sounds like you're in a good relationship, but deep down there are some issues there that need to be resolved between you and him and between both of you as individuals as well. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and follow me on social media. The links are always in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.